Okay. Paul here, me and the automotive. I've got a 3.2 car. They were doing the leak down test. Just want to show we're putting about 100 uh, psi, which is 700 kPa. Um, and we're getting out. We only need the, this is the pressure that's holding inside the cylinder. We are holding inside the cylinder about 20. And about 22, 24, just above 20, 22 psi. So that's cylinder number one, sitting at 22 psi. All right, I'm gonna do cylinder number the next one, six. All right, this is cylinder number six. We're doing the actual uh, uh, leak down test, so we're putting in about 100 psi. And we're holding inside the cylinder, top dead center, about 72 psi. Um, or five, six, oh yeah, five, 500 kPa. All right, that's number six. So it's leaking from the intake. Intake exhaust or exhaust of, uh, or intake or exhaust valve. It doesn't really matter, but it's leaking. All right, so we're gonna do the next one. All right, this is number two. This is number two, we're looking at about 82, just above 80. 100, holding about 80 PSI, 82. That's number two. All right, this is number four now. We're doing the same thing for number four. 100, going in. We're holding at about 70. 72 PSI. This is number three. Turn it around. Pretty good. 92. Not that bad. Alright, that's cylinder number three. So one more to go. This is the last one. Number five. About 72. Alright, so that's the last one we've done. So we're going to put the spark plug back on. And this car here. And we're going to start it tomorrow, and we're going to show you how the car runs with those kind of readings. Um, a lot of people straight away, they go, this car is bad, and straight away uh, they condemn full engine rebuild, but you don't need to rebuild your engine. I'm going to start it tomorrow cold. Uh, usually when that happens, the actual valve stem seals are leaking, so we need to actually um, replace the valve stem seals. Compression of the engine is good, so you don't need to do a... Uh, uh, full rebuild on this car here. Just a top end rebuild. Needed top end rebuild is needed to be done. But it doesn't mean you can drive the car. You can still drive the car like this. Usually when they're really really bad, you can't start the car up. Uh, but this car starts straight away in the morning. I'll show you tomorrow how the car start up in the morning when we have those values that, that I just showed on the on the actual leak down test um, to show that the car can still start up. These old girls always start no matter what. Alright? Thanks for watching and please subscribe.